Thanks, Noah. That's right. Arizona State D2 hockey back on the ice after two weeks playing Cal State for this weekend. Bobby, what do you like to see for Arizona State bringing back a senior in Justin Butler? Justin Butler is one of the all-time leading scoring leaders or point leaders in Arizona State D2 hockey history. What do you like to see for him bringing back to the ice, coming back? Well, Justin Butler is just one of many playmakers that is on this ASU D2 roster. So plugging him back in really only makes them even more potent than they already have been. You have guys like Brady Morgan, uh, Ryan Francis, Ryan McNeely, the captain, Justin Hevriliak. Justin Butler only adds to the amazing amount of talent that is on this ASU roster. Right now, we're going to talk about a guy who's going to be out for majority of the season, and that's Daniel Kenzie. He is a starter on the starting lineup, a senior leader. He's out now. What do you look for Arizona State to do filling his role for the rest of the season? It's got to be next man up mentality. They have the pieces necessary to make up for the loss of Kenzie. A guy like Liam Pugh, a huge stay-at-home defenseman who also can bring it to the offensive side when needed. Guys like Jace Davis as well. But what also goes in ASU's favor is the goaltending. David Amon and Al Taylor. They're a formidable one-two punch, and they're able to make up for some defensive collapses that may happen in their system. I think that they'll be just fine without Kenzie, even though it is a big loss. Now, coming in this weekend against Cal State Fortin, they have two weeks of full rest. Rest is a good thing, but people can also say it's a bad thing. How do you think that Arizona State's going to come and play a very talented 7-1 and Cal State Fulton team coming into this weekend? I don't expect the rest to affect them at all. This ASU team is just like the D1 counterpart. They're the best in the AS ACHA D2 League. There's not even a question about it. They're well, they're well coached. They know what it takes to win. Rest, they could be off for a month, and they would still have the talent and the skill necessary to get it done. I don't expect them to trip up very much this weekend against Cal State Fullerton. Well, you can catch that game starting Friday night in the season opener. It's going to be a spooky matchup Halloween night. 10.35 is a puck drop. Back to the guys at the desk.